Hi guys, my name is Daniel Marin and today I'm going to take you with me in the unboxing and installation of the E7 Standing Desk by FlexiSpot. I'm a freelancing vocalist and that means that each and every day I have to record my vocals for people that book me. While recording I also want to operate the computer and the recording software simultaneously and that's why in my old situation I've been sitting on my desk and singing at the same time. And it isn't that healthy to sing while sitting down because you can't use your whole body and you can't use all the amount of breath. I was looking for a solution and I started to Google and I came across the website of FlexiSpot who have tons of different standing desks on their website and I very much like the idea of having a button that you can press to have your desk go up and down so that you can choose whether you want to stand or whether you want to sit. So FlexiSpot was kind enough to do a collaboration with me and send me their E7 standing desk with the maple color desktop and today I'm gonna show you the installation process. So as you can see I'm quite tall so the thing that I'm wondering about is that I know that the FlexiSpot E7 gets high enough when you turn it up but I'm very curious to see how stable it is at that height but we're just gonna find out stay tuned <laughs> Okay, what am I gonna start with? I think I'm gonna start with the um, electric mechanism, which is super heavy, which gives me a good feeling because most often when things are heavy and sturdy, they're of course of good quality. So let's hope for that. Oh, it's very heavy. Okay. Because I am holding on to you. Um, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna take a scissor. Scissors. Scissors. This is the leg on one side. Screws. This is the manual. How do I make this more organized? Step one, attach the brackets to the beam. What I love about how they manage all the bolts is that they have it in one piece but each kind of bolts are in a separate labeled bag. So that makes it really easy to not get mixed up and not know what you're doing. Yeah, it works, oh my god. We survived step one. Install the lifting column here. It is so satisfying that if you have this and you have this, it just all fits so well and it makes our life so much easier. IKEA, you can learn from this. So at this point, the pedestals are installed to the legs aka the lifting columns. The next thing to do is to install the desktop and I see that we need an electric screwdriver for that. So I'm gonna go to the neighbors. Well, I am back with an electric screwdriver thanks to my neighbors. Okay, so we're gonna open up the other box, which has the desktop in it. Up till now, there wasn't anything that was really bothering me. There's just one small thing, and that is that there are little rubber things that go on the holes for the screws, and one flipped out, and I realized that later, so I had to go through all the trash to find it back. As it is so easy for that to come off, it would be so unfortunate and so annoying if that one's really lost. So my advice really is if you're gonna purchase this table then really take in mind that you be careful with the rubber things, I don't know what they're called, so you don't lose them because that would be so sad. 
it is a bit of a struggle, especially considering how heavy this is, to put the holes on the right place for the screws. So I think I got it now. Do I? I installed all the cables and I'm just gonna try if the whole thing works. Oh my god, that is so cool. Okay, that's actually really exciting. Higher, 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 higher. That is sick. I finished installing the FlexiSpot E7 desk and I must say that I'm super impressed by first of all the quality of everything, of all the material. It's super sturdy, it's super well made. The only thing that bothers me is the uh, little rubber things. I think it would be helpful to include the same amount extra just in case one gets lost. Of course that's on me as well. but. Um, it looks great. It looks super luxurious, I think. I'm quite happy. I'm super happy actually. I'm gonna make a setup and then I'm gonna show you the end result of how I record my vocals using this new FlexiSpot table. So right now I have the desk fully installed and I'm gonna show you how smoothly it goes down if I press the button. So the only thing that I still need to do is do some cable management because it kind of looks messy under here. Okay, well it can get down pretty low. If you're... Gnome. If you're a gnome, <laughs> a gnome, I don't know if that's the right term, but uh, then you can sit here. Look. I can work like this now and that's amazing. It is uh, super sturdy. I can show you that I can sit on it and it will lift. And another useful thing is my last desk was just a desk that I could have for my parents which was super wide and it just had a lot of space and I didn't know what to do with it. And now the maple desktop is a bit smaller, which makes that you have everything in hand reach. So guys, as you can imagine, I'm super happy with my new standing desk, the E7 by FlexiSpot. I can stand while singing and that's quite a useful thing to be able to do. I'm pretty sure my back problems and my arm problems will fade away. If you're interested in this specific product, definitely go to their website. I have all the links listed down below in the description and they sometimes have deals going on, so it's always worth to check their website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again and have a great day. Bye bye. I know my arms are long, but not that long. Yeah, okay, we've reached the top.